and he still feels good in top of this fucking round two. And of all the superlatives. Oh! It's going to be more difficult if you use defense to push off, to kick off, concerned to do that. Despite his recent and only loss in the UFC, in his sixth title defense since winning the welterweight title in 2019, Kamaru Usman remains one of the greatest welterweights of all time. Having dominated the UFC welterweight division for a long time, the Nigerian nightmare, as he is popularly called, has been on the receiving end of a lot of trash talking. However, Kamaru always made his opponents look silly in the end, as he always came out victorious. Stay tuned to MMA Wired as we take a look at some of the Nigerian Nightmare's opponents before and after they faced him. But before we get started, take a moment to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Alright, let's dive in. Tyron Woodley Kicking off the list is the fight from which Kamaru Usman emerged as a welterweight champion. In this bout, the Nigerian Nightmare was up against Tyron Woodley, who was fresh off a submission win over Darren Till. Not many people expected Woodley to lose any time soon, despite the fact he was going up against Kamaru Usman, who was undefeated in the UFC. Even Woodley saw zero chance of him losing to Usman. He mocked the Nigerian Nightmare for his lack of knockout and asked what he can do better than him. He said if it was a straight striking match, he would knock Usman out. If it was grappling, he would break his arm, and if it was wrestling, he would out-wrestle him. It turned out that the MMA fans that agreed with Woodley were wrong as Usman dominated him for five rounds. Usman even looked better in the striking department. By the end of the fight, everyone was sure that we had a new champion. Kamaro won the one-sided fight via unanimous decision, and all Tyron Woodley could do at the end was praise the newly crowned welterweight champion. Listen, listen, Colby, hold time. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, Colby, listen. Listen to me, listen to me. Come here, come here, please. Colby Covington. The Nigerian Nightmare made his first title defense at UFC 245 on December 14, 2019, facing longtime rival Colby Covington. Covington went personal and mocked Usman's heritage. Covington was confident that not only would he be the first person to defeat Usman in the UFC, but he would leave the Nigerian Nightmare in a pool of his own blood, expose him, and cause him to retire. To Covington's credit, it was a close fight that went back and forth. A lot of observers had different scorecards going into the final round. However, this would not matter in the end, as Usman was able to knock down Covington twice before finishing him with strikes, to be declared the winner via technical knockout. The fight set the record for the latest finish in UFC welterweight history and earned both participants the Fight of the Night award. It's going to be more difficult. You can use the fence to push off, to kick off. Concerned to do that. 15 fights in a row. Tyron Woodley. Jorge Masvidal. Next up for the Nigerian Nightmare was a second title defense against Gilbert Burns on July 12, 2020 at UFC 251. However, it was revealed on July 3rd, 2020 that Burns tested positive for COVID-19 and he was subsequently removed from the card. On July 5, 2020, it was reported that Jorge Masvidal stepped in on short notice to replace Gilbert Burns. This created one of the biggest anticipations for a fight. Everyone was rooting for Masvidal. Despite being a short notice fight for him, people expected him to do what he was doing in recent times, which was to baptize Usman, separate him from his consciousness, and get the fast knockout. And why wouldn't that be the expectation from someone that had three back-to-back -back knockout wins before the fight with Usman? However, Usman won once again via unanimous decision. Gilbert Burns. On December 12, 2020, at UFC 256, Kamaru Usman was once again scheduled to defend his title. This time, he would finally face Gilbert Burns, who knew each other very well. They were good friends at one point and were also former training partners. Although there was respect between them, there was also a certain amount of tension. However, what made things really interesting was the fact that the two had trained and sparred together. Surely, they both knew who got the better of each other. Gilbert Burns was confident, and he stated that the champion knew that he could submit him from anywhere. Burns had a great start during his fight with Usman as he staggered the champ with a right hand 
in what was the first time we really saw the Nigerian nightmare seriously hurt. However, Burns did not follow up on it as Usman was able to recover. The Nigerian nightmare successfully defended his title for the third time, as he won via technical knockout in the third round. At the end of the fight, Gilbert Burns burst into tears inside the octagon while the Nigerian nightmare looked on as his friend was dejected. The two would eventually embrace each other and resume their friendship. And he still feels good and confident starting round two. And of all the superlative... Oh! Jorge Masvidal rematch. A couple of months after his title defense against Burns, Kamara Usman rematched against Jorge Masvidal for the UFC Welterweight Championship at UFC 261 in Florida. This time, Masvidal would train with a full camp. He was also going to be fighting in front of his home fans in Miami to gain an added advantage. Masvidal promised to expose the champ for the coward that he was. But, once again, the Nigerian Nightmare successfully defended his title after knocking out Masvidal in the second round becoming the first to do so in the UFC. The win earned the champ his fourth Performance of the Night bonus award. A huge close to round two for the champ! Colby Covington rematch. The final opponent and fight that we'll be taking a look at is unfortunately Kamaru Usman's last successful title defense before losing the belt to Leon Edwards in his sixth title defense. Kamaru Usman had a rematch with Colby Covington on November 6, 2021 at UFC 268 and there was a lot of trash talking. Colby Covington also said he was out for revenge this time. Hey, Saturday evening, do you expect the immediate rematch for the trilogy fight? I'll be ready for the trilogy right away, but after I'm done with Marty Saturday night, he's done. He's going to retire and he's not going to want to fight me again. While Covington had a slow start in the rematch and almost got finished in the second round as the champ dropped him hard twice, he survived. However, the champ once again retained his title as he was declared the winner via unanimous decision. Which opponent on the list do you think was the Nigerian Nightmare's toughest challenge? Comment below. Also, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you're yet to do so. See you in the next video.